Ah, look at that. Almost sunset. So, what do we have? Yeah, we have the finals of a mess. One chunk of cedar needs to be cut. Split the rest up. A splitting log. A couple pieces of white wood. Keep some, some wood in the box prepared for fires. Stash of Batman. Yes, I made a video the other day and deleted it. One the other night, accidentally deleted it. So, oh, hope he made potty. Anyways, final stowage. Shoving stuff around. Work tools. Saw. Squares. Support plates. Gussets. Drill. Pieces of wood. Oh, we cut them off here. We were talking about that. They used to be a lot taller. I got the angle set. I'm going to mount this one up in about 10 minutes. This guy right here, he's all loose. Bring him up here. Get the hard mount. Attach it to here. Lock it in here. Come up like this. Set another three degrees of angle. Nice slope on there for the wind. Hurricane kind of stuff. Gales. Yeah. So, uh, and then this guy can go underneath. See, this whole thing is on hinge. We just lift it up. <laughs> just kind of sitting there. Whoops. Uh, anyways, got a space for him. We can actually put the, this other one down there if we have to. And then this wood tomorrow will turn into a cabinet in the middle of the kitchen and the subfloor and the wall floor. So, just been waiting to do that till now. Well, actually tonight, but tonight could be tomorrow or yesterday or three days ago. I guess it depends on what day I made the video, right? I tried a couple times this week and accidentally deleted a couple. So, anyways, here we are. So I have to relay the locate boxes. I got the power box over here. Uh, somewhere. Oh, there it is. Pull the plugs out of that, run that wire, have to rerun another wire, and then all that shit gets stashed below. The rest becomes firewood. Chopped up neatly and put in two big blue totes. One where there's one right now, and one where, and all the rest of it goes. Yep, clean decks. Ropes all neatly done. Be nice. Generator stowed up front in the middle. It's gonna be kind of fun. But anyways, yep. So, there you have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, we have to go around Cape Hatteras, and of course, you guys are getting all that wonderful cold weather in the Midwest. So in just a few days, that shit will be here. And it will be quite a mess here in the 20s. Freezing rain, snow, and uh, nor'easter weather from out there. Yeah, this will not be the place to be. And uh, you know what? We won't be. We won't be. We will be... Uh, Challenging Cape Hatteras. Uh, yes, navigational obstacles and hazards. Been working on the weather and the charts and the locations and our bail points and depths and oh yeah, all kinds of stuff to figure out how to get around that one. That's a pretty good little haul there, especially when there's 15 to 17 foot seas. Huh? Should be interesting. Sounds like fun. At least we won't be in the bay bouncing off the bottom of this muddy crap. So, but uh, I don't think we're going to have any cell signal 20 miles offshore. So, we want to stay clear of that one. Anyways, wishing you all an awesome evening. And uh, I guess when we get to the other side over there, we'll check in with you. It uh, might be a week or so. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how it goes. Okay, if it gets too bad, we uh, will definitely not run for sure because that's a sure way to end up on the shoals is another shipwreck. Now we will actually have to turn to the ocean and face the storm. As it looks, it'll last between two and three days. So, yeah, hopefully we can skip that fun roller coaster ride, but you never know. It's just part of the adventure. Anyways. Uh, to you and yours, wishing you all the best. Okay, bye-bye.